Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Notorious, the 1946 Alfred Hitchcock movie. It's been a minute since I've seen a Alfred Hitchcock movie. I just took a little break from them. I just wanted to watch some other movies, but I am back on the Hitchcock train and I'm starting out with Notorious. I don't know anything about this movie. Yeah, all I know is that Alfred Hitchcock's directing it and Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant are in it and I like both of those actors. But yeah, I'm excited to see more of Hitchcock's directing style, I guess. The, the cinematography is always great in his movie, so I'm excited to see that. Maybe some great lighting choices and stuff like that. Some great characters, a great script. I'm just hoping for a really good time. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and we can decide what color it should be. Boop! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, the lighting today, I think this is a black and white movie. I'm like 99% sure this is a black and white movie, so the lighting won't really matter for the video, but for my personal preference, Notorious, what is that kind of sound like I don't really know what color this is gonna be for me I think I'm gonna go green we don't usually have green on the channel I feel like just watching this movie in green lighting today and if you'd like to check out more of my reactions you can head over to my patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early there are also two exclusive patreon movies a month that you guys on patreon get to choose thank you so so much if you check it out now let's get back to the video okay let's just dive into this film I hope you enjoy my reaction to notorious <laughs> This movie is going to be as big as, you know, North by Northwest, or is it going to be a small contained story? Maybe like Dial M for Murder. Directed by the man himself. For imprisonment in an institution of the penitentiary type for a period of 20 years. 20 years? The defendant may be forthwith remanded to the custody of the United States Marshal. I love this shot between the doors. Well, it doesn't matter. I like party crashers. He's not a party crasher, I brought him. I'm liable to blow up the Panama Canal any minute now. You want some ice in it? No thanks. She looks like she not does not want to be dancing. Like you'd be worried about, please. Also, I love the shadow that this guy's in. They just said handsome, but he's so mysterious now. What's the difference? There's no fish day or night. Do you know something? I like you. Well, I'll see you on board at this show at 9 o'clock. He hasn't even spoken. Came about the ice. What is? Gone. Who's gone? The ice. <laughs> what about we have a picnic <laughs> not what I thought she was going to say you're quite a boy and she's quite drunk I, I'm going to drive that, that's understood <laughs> he just put it on her neck Why are you letting her drive? Why are you letting her drive? Are you trying to kill yourself right now? 65. Let's push it to 70. Make it 80 and wipe that grin off your face. Oh wow, she went a step higher than I did. The policeman is chasing us. Look. Oh, they make me sick. They make me sick. You still got to pull over. No arguments, mister. You ain't got a leg to stand on. <gasps> Is he a secret agent? He's one of the guys? Oh, Move over. Oh my god, he just karate chopped her head. What the heck? Oh. Are you gonna calm down? Good, now move over. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> she really tried to pounce. You'd better drink that. I love it. I love the Dutch angle from her point of view. It looks disgusting. It looks like bad water. Wee. Wait, it's actually such a good camera movement. You. You cop. Oh. She remembers that at least. She's not insanely hungover. But you can forget it, Mr. Devlin. What? Devlin. 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 What a strange name. Traitor? Well, he thinks you might be valuable in the work. They might sort of trust you. And you can I can see that. For your I can see that. Why should I? Give your dad 10 years instead of 20. I know what you stand for. You and your murderous wife. I've hated you ever since I found out. My daughter, don't talk to me like that. Stay on your side of the table. Alicia, put your voice down. 
Well, that doesn't prove much. <laughs> it seems pretty proof to me. You might need a hand this morning. We're sailing with the tide, you know. Are you ready? Yes. Don't tell me you've forgotten, my dear. <laughs> no, I'm just really hung over. <laughs> well, what about it? Plane leaves tomorrow morning early. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, we're in Rio. I didn't expect to go to Rio. I like this. I like this. Oh, no. No, I won't be seeing any men in Rio. Oh, yes, you will. That's our boss, Paul Prescott. Hmm, interesting. He had some news about your father he picked up at the last stop. What about him? He died this morning. What? With the pots. I didn't care what happened to me. But now I remember how nice he once was. You always remember the nice things about people when they die. <laughs> He's like, whoa, jump scare over here. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Rio. It looks, it looks very beautiful. What a ride you are doing. All right. You've been sober for eight days. This I think she can do it. I believe. I believe that she can do it. Scared? I've always been scared of women, but I get over it. And now you're scared of yourself. You enjoy making fun of me, don't you? Yeah, she does. I would make fun of a guy called Devlin, too. Why won't you believe in me, Dad? Yeah, why doesn't he? That you're the invincible Devlin in love with someone who isn't worth even wasting the words on. Poor Dev. In love with a no good girl, it must be awful. I'm sorry. Oh! Kiss of the centuries! You have faith in this procedure, Captain Prescott? Oh, yes, but somebody on the inside. Have you consulted the young lady? No, not yet. As a matter of well, fact, then, our men. You can't be making a plan without her. She should be in this room with you. Another lamp makes an appearance. Multiple lamps, actually. Hitchcock loves his lamps. Whoa, what a place! Oh, beautiful. So they're like actually together now. They're just a couple all of a sudden. Fair enough, I guess. What about all the washing up after? We're leaving with our fingers. Stay in. I have to telephone the hotel. See if there are any messages. You have to. I have to. I love this shot. Oh my god! I love how it's following them right now. Hello. Palace Hotel. Dunning Days. It's T.R. Devlin. Are any messages for me? Nothing. I can speak louder than words. <laughs> there is. At least say, like, you're beautiful or something. Come on. Come on, Devlin. Come on. The camera is sticking so close to them, you know? It's so intimate. It doesn't feel like Devlin's heart's in it, you know? Come on, Devlin. Come on, man. Like, does he actually not love her? Actions speak louder than words. You have to say it sometimes, though. She's that type of woman. She strikes me as well, being rather... I don't rather... understand your attitude. Okay, no, he does like her. Never mind. My ideal background, but because Sebastian knows her. Oh, yes. He was once in love with her. Oh, that's not great. Okay, Devin, that's all. All right. He forgot the champagne. Why would no one say that? Why would no one say you forgot your champagne? How rude is this man? Yeah, is Another lamp. Way? Look at that. Uh, I'm glad you're late. This chicken took longer than I expected. There are four lamps in this apartment. That's insane. This is done too, too much. <laughs> it caught fire once. <laughs> it might be a little overdone then. Don't look so tense, Troubles. Say it. Say Sebastian. That's all you need to say. And this madness between us can't go on any longer. I bet you've heard that line often enough. That hit something. He had quite a crush on you. I wasn't very responsive. We have to contact him. Oh, look, she's in shadow now. Look at what shadows on her. Oh, the lighting is good stuff. I suppose you knew about this pretty little job of mine all the time. 
No, he actually didn't. Maybe I wasn't the girl for such shenanigans. He did. I figured that was up to you. No, he did say it though at the same time. Do you want me to take the job? You're answering for yourself. I am asking you. It's up to you. No, ho. she's asking you. Oh, darling, what you didn't tell them, tell me. The close-ups are so enchanting. I don't know why. It's just the, it's just the soft lighting on their heads. Oh, we shouldn't have had this out here. It's all cold now. <laughs> yeah. What are you looking? For? But I mean, you also talked a lot, so that's also why it's cold. Are you sure that's him? Yes. We'll go by him easy. Let him spot you. I love her hat. Oh, Devlin's menace. Oh my gosh. But it worked. It worked. It's just strange, like, two-second shot of him sitting there smoking a cigarette. Four years of dullness and disintegration. Awful. Alex, you look younger than you did in Washington. No, she, you're, you're lying. He looks 20,000 years older. Oh, uh, would you like another drink? Yes, thank you. Do I smoke some meals? Shaken, not stirred. It's got to die. Many things have died for all of us. We mustn't let our spirit die with them. Perhaps I can help you to forget. I'd like to. It's what does that mean? Mind control? <laughs> I saw you again. I feel what I used to for you. So Man. Hunger. You're so lovely, my dear. Did you say hunger? I felt a hunger for you. You've made a pretty couple. Mr. Devlin doesn't interest me. Yeah, his name's Devlin. Will you have dinner with me again tomorrow night? Thank you very much. My house? Oh. Now let's see. What should we... What should we have? What is it? Okay. Oh, I thought something bad was just about to happen, but she was just thinking. Well, Dad will pick those up later. Now try to memorize the names of all the people you see there tonight. The men, I mean. That's impossible. If if I had to do that, I would I would know two names max. We we'll keep shy of each other for the next few days. That's in case Sebastian's people want to check on you after your visit. Yes, I understand. That's all. Good, good luck. Evening. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. I was so confused. No one's playing the piano. I heard piano. And I'm like, well, then where's the piano coming from? <laughs> I, got co I got so confused for a second. He didn't want me to. He refused to let his lawyers call me understand. I wonder why. Hello. <laughs> I wonder why indeed. Beric Matisse. How do you do? How do you do? William Rossman. They're all coming at her in a line. I'd be like, I already forgot your name, Eric. From Spain, senora? Few weeks ago, it seems ages. Tarver does not mean anything anymore. He's like, wow, expensive wine. Wait, no. It's not just expensive wine. What's the deal? What's it? What is it with the wine? There's something with the wine. Am I? Is it going over my head, or has they, they just haven't explained it? I just have to be careful. That is all. Turn my ankle the last time. This guy is super nervous right now. What is up with him? Perhaps if you try to drive yourself all the way up to Petropolis, it might be too much for you. They're gonna shoot you. Nonsense. I'd love to go. Come on, Emil. Good night, gentlemen. Emil's about to be a meal for the vultures. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. Oh, no, please, mother. I want to enjoy myself. Is it so boring to sit with me alone? Yeah, you seem like a pretty boring woman. Hello. I thought I saw you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Great turnout, isn't it? Yes. That was pretty stealthy, Devlin. <laughs> was that? Oh, it was wine. We drank it. Has yeah, but anything? There's something about the wine. I better find out. You can add Sebastian's name to my list of playmates. What are you sore about? You knew very well what I was doing. Did I? You could have stopped. You did. You 100% did. Oh, you're rotten. That's why I didn't try to stop you. The answer had to come from you. I see. Some kind of love test. That's right. I love that shot of the horses going by. That was really cool. Oh, hello, Alex. 
was so exciting and beautiful horse. Do you remember Mr. Dan? Alex is very short. I didn't see the race. Didn't you? I thought I saw you looking through your field glasses. I was watching you and your friend, Mr. Devlin. Oh, he could see them. Maybe you're in love with him. Don't talk like that. I detest him. Really? No. Sebastian is is definitely on to something. She doesn't hold a candle to your wife, sir. Sitting in Washington playing bridge with three other ladies of great honor and virtue. This guy is so salty at the moment. Yes, something rather confusing. Mr. Sebastian has asked me to marry him. What? Oh, oh, okay. I don't know what the department might think about such a step. Are you willing to go this far for us, Miss Huberman? Marry him. Do it. You have to. May I ask what inspired Alex Sebastian to go this far? He's yeah. With me. It's super, super rash, Sebastian. It's all right. Well, yes, I'd, I'd say so. Of course. It... Oh, she's just staring at Devlin. To capture the rich Alex Sebastian for her husband. Oh, don't be absurd, Mother. She didn't even know I was here. We will discuss it. That felt like a very weird cut. That didn't, that feels like there was more to that scene that I just missed. Where is my mother? Madame Sebastian went to bed very early, sir. I'm sorry, my dear, I'm afraid- It must be so hard for him to tell Madame Sebastian right before every, every time he's trying to mention the mom. Oh, this isn't very large. I'll need more room. What? <laughs> How many clothes do you got? I do not have the keys, madame. Where are they? Madame Sebastian has charge of all the house keys, madame. What's behind that door? My work is done. You've been successful. Yes. With what? Successful with what? <laughs> how many, how many rooms does she need for her clothes? What's in the wine cellar? Now I want to know what's in the wine cellar. I want to know oh, the wine. There was the wine on the shelf, and then there's the wine cellar. It's all piecing together. But what does it mean? Tried to real society, say sometime next week. Why? Consider me invited, and I'll try and find out about that wine cellar business. Wouldn't it be really suspicious if he comes though? And the uh, horrid passion I have for you might be torn out of me. That sounds very logical. Good. Next. That's that's. I don't think that would work. Don't know why I hesitated there. The keys. <gasps> Those are the seller keys. I just hope that, uh, Grab it. To give him any false Grab it. Within a minute. She did that so fast. That takes me like two hours to do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. You could play a really good game of chess on that floor. Wow, what a shot! The, from really high up, far away, all the way to the extreme close up with the key. Oh my god, you get to, you get to see everyone's play, like, positions in the rooms where everyone's standing and stuff like that, and then they zoom in to what is actually important in the scene. You think anyone could just walk in if they wore a suit? It doesn't look like there's a list. Good evening. Oh, the handoff. Genius move. Later, his nips is on the trail. Why is she talking to him? She should just like be giving him the key and then leaving. Why? He, uh, he's quite sensitive about you. He's gonna watch us like a hog. Of course he is. You didn't expect that? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Quite a point. <gasps> it's Hitchcock! My guy! Madame? Do you think you have enough champagne to last for the rest of the evening? I don't know, madame. I hope so. <laughs> He's gonna be getting so jealous. Oh, darling. He's trying to drown his
There's not that much left. Oh, it's a ticking time bomb. She's like, guys, don't drink it. Don't drink it. We need to save the champagne, you know? We need to ration it. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually so stressed right now. Oh, I love this shot, you know? You can just see the silhouette of her right there. Her hair is a very is a very striking outline, you know? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. oh, that's how I feel right now. That's how I feel right now. Stress. Oh no, is he out? Oh no, he's almost out. No, 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 watch out, you clumsy man. I can't believe he just did that. Wait, that's... Vintage sand. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's not wine, that's sand. Metal ore. Uh, it literally is a ticking time bomb. I think if he comes down with Joseph. I wonder what it is. A metal ore. Is it... What? What What could it be? Titanium? Aluminium? I love how dark the cellar is and like this whole basement scene is. There's not all too much light and it makes it look even more like suspicious, you know? You'd better stay upstairs, Joseph, if they may need you. Yes, sir. Oh, he's about to come out fists blazing. Oh my god, he's like a mini, he's a mini Terminator. Kissed you. I, I couldn't stop him, I tried. We'll talk about it later. He doesn't have the key. He doesn't have the key. Oh, that was such a good camera shot, you know? He's piecing it together. He's definitely piecing it together. Whiskey and wine? Yes, sir. Well, I think we'll give him that. Very good. I don't think Sebastian's dumb. I think he's pieced at least some of it together. They're down there. They were kissing. He doesn't have the key. You can kind of put two and two. Oh, yeah, he's... Where is his other key? Where is the fourth one? Is the key back there? If the key's there, then he knows. Then he knows it was Alicia. Oh, it's there! Oh, Is it Alicia or Alice Alicia? They did a good job hiding it. He didn't notice. But why? Yeah, it's just one thing. It's always just one little thing, and it makes people so suspicious. Thirty-four. Oh my God! One of them's gonna say like thirty-nine or something. Forty. Oh. They were so close. They were so close. Oh no! 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 The music swelling and stuff like that. It's so good. She has to run. She better get out of bed and be running across the country right now. She better be hiding in the Amazon rainforest. Look how menacing this shot is. And the music. Oh. I have expected it. I knew. I knew. <laughs> She's like, I told you so, son. You idiot, son. I am married to an American agent. What a shot. I loved that. <sighs> she should be in the Amazon rainforest by now. Why is she just sleeping? <laughs> Do the same myself. Kill the fool of a traitor. There's no need for them to find out. Mattis is very sharp. Yes, he dislikes you. No, not that way. I stood looking at her when she was asleep. And I could have... Quiet, Ale. Oh my god, she was close to death. I could become ill and remain ill for a time until... 
Was it supposed to just trail off at the until? Is it supposed to be like a cliffhanger thing? Because sometimes, I don't know. Since I'm watching this on YouTube, like for free, I don't know how, how much of the movie is actually the actual movie. Maybe I'll go to Cosmos and see if they have any new books in from New York. Oh, if you're going down there, oh. would you go in this as a cruise for? There was something in her drink. Oh, there was something in her drink. That sand that Devlin brought in shows uranium ore. So now we know what we're driving at. Mmm. But I think uh, you'll be a great help. But that is I don't think so. I think she's going to be dead soon. There really isn't very much for a brainy fellow like Mr. Devlin to do in Rio anymore. Well, of course mm. it is more. Oh, and uh, go easy on that sun, hey? Stop drinking the tea. You're going to be dead. Darling, what is it? She's turning into a vampire. <laughs> Devlin's going to Spain and Alicia's going to heaven. Any domestic troubles about the other night? Any footprints? Well. No, she definitely is sick. No reason why you shouldn't. That's right, Dad. Here's something that belongs to you. I should have given it to you sooner. Oh, it's a bandana from the start. <clears throat> Cleaning house, huh? Yeah, it feels like it feels like they're end like ending ending it. You are not taking care of yourself, Alicia. I feel much better. That chair is huge. Look how big that chair is compared to her. Oh right my dear, god. Child, Literally poisonous to find tea. Out what is the matter with you? I never go near dark. I love the camera work whenever there's tea now and it zooms into the tea super close up. Hospitals. Little cruise somewhere. Maybe Spain. Put the roses back in your cheeks, my sweet. Maybe Spain? That's where Devlin's going. I could bear to leave Alex behind for a few weeks. I love, I love this shot. He's trying to help. She's sick. The tea in the foreground. Oh. What Alicia needs is rest, not mountain climbing. I've heard about the I'm already... No, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Stop. Arette. Oh. Yes. I bet if she just stopped drinking the tea, she'd get better too. Thanks too much. I just finished my coffee. No, that's just... Oh, but that's a so suspicious. She knows. Come on, she must have pieced it together. Relaxing. Forgetting all your <laughs> She knows. When I come back, you oh, I love the zoom ins there. Sorry to complain. Shall I take you up to Whoa, what is this? What is this cool effect? I hope she doesn't die right now. I hope this this is just she's just nauseous. Oh, she has collapsed. Alicia has collapsed. I hope the mom falls down the stairs right now. The score is so good, it's so dramatic. Don't worry, dear Otto. We'll get a doctor, a good one. We'll take the best care of her. Oh no, don't listen to the mom. Just go to call the hospital. And the mom is just always watching. <sighs> There's no way out. There's no hope. I'm afraid I can't, sir. Why not? Mrs. Sebastian is very ill and confined to her bed. <sighs> How long has she been ill? A week. Has she had a doctor? I think so, sir. No, she has not had a doctor. But this morning when I went to the ticket office, the same man came inside and stood beside me. Inter it's, and it's this guy, it's Devlin. So when they go out, they're going to be like, it's him. Oh, he's taking them two steps at a time. Oh wow, now he's running up the steps, just like I wanted. Oh, 
I love how dark it is, and then the only light in the room is cascading onto her bed. He was sick then. What is it? Yes, I was sick. She's like, it's super contagious, now you have it. I was getting out because I love you. I couldn't bear seeing you and him together. Oh, you love me. Why didn't you tell me before? Yeah, punk. I was a fat-headed guy full of pain. Oh, I love this. I love this camera rotation. Talking. Have you got a coat? In the closet. Okay, guys, let's stop kissing and let's let's start going. Keeps me awake. I love you. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. He's really he's really trying his best. Doctor Anderson. You need to like carry her out, like firemen carry her out of here. Oh, I'm afraid, Dev. I'm afraid they're all in the house. We can't make it. You're just gonna go Rambo on them. You're just gonna charge and shoot your way out. They'll never get rid of me again. Never tried to. Oh, Sebastian is always a horrible man. It's downstairs to know. They've yet to be told. I'm taking her back to her room. Oh, I'll raise quite a rumpus if you try. Alex. Oh, he's got a gun in his pocket. You haven't forgotten what they did to Emil, have you, Sebastian? Yeah, Emil's gone. Well, what am I going to do? Start shooting? I love that shot of him as he's trying to contemplate about what to do. Oh, um, she, she collapsed. Mr. Devlin heard her scream when he was waiting for me. Come on, Alicia. Now, just a minute, I'm a sit with her. No room, Sebastian. Oh, but you must take me there watching me. That's your headache. No, please. That's your headache? Oh, Sebastian is no more. In her room to call the hospital. Alex. Oh my god, look at that shot. Look at the lighting in this shot. Oh, it's so menacing. Oh, that's the end. No. Oh, God. What the heck? What the heck? You can't not. You cannot just. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. And that was my reaction to Notorious, the 1946 thriller noir starring Ingrid Bergman, Cary Grant, and Claude Rains. Oh, and Lee Leopoldine Constantine as the mother as Madame Sebastian. What what a what a great name for a person, by the way. What what a what a, just a fabulous name. But what a also what a fabulous movie this was. I wasn't sure how the movie was going to be affecting me about halfway through. I was like, okay, this is this is decent, but I would I say it's one of his best works. But the last half of the movie was so good, guys. The last half of the movie was so good and it made the first half even better because you get kind of that perspective you get kind of the slowness the character and stuff in the first half i feel like and then you get all of this suspense and stuff in the second half at least that's how i felt i wasn't that like i guess i wasn't on the edge of my seat in suspense like i am in a lot of hitchcock movies in the first half of the movie but in the second half of the movie once alex found out that the wine had been undone and that the sand had been thrown on the floor it was non-stop suspense heart racing stuff until the final shot of the film yeah i thought the camera work in this movie was absolutely phenomenal it was some of the best camera work i've seen in a hitchcock movie in a long time i haven't seen a hitchcock movie in a long time i guess but I like some of the camera work in this movie was so good and not that that's not just like the cinematography stuff that's like the actual camera movements the camera position and stuff like that it was really really good and there were some like cool camera effects and stuff which I'm going to talk about the score was awesome the characters were super complex super interesting and yeah I just I really enjoyed this movie especially especially the second half when everything started to kind of come together and everything started to ramp up to, to like a 10 or 11 when Alex 
proposes basically to Alicia when he finds out that they found the the dirt, the uranium stuff in the wine. Like when that starts to happen and the movie really starts to ramp, I was like, oh boy, here we go. This is so awesome. So yeah, getting into the reviews of this movie before I get into the score, 8 out of 10 on IMDb and 96% Rotten Tomatoes. So it's kind of in the middle of Hitchcock movies, I guess. I think, I guess most Hitchcock movies get about an 8 to 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb and then about a 90 to 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. So this is just kind of in there with all the other Hitchcock movies. I mean, yeah, it's not worse than any of them. And I wouldn't say it's better than my favorite ones. Like Rear Window, I think is my favorite Hitchcock movie and, and then maybe Psycho as well. And I wouldn't say that this movie had me on the edge of my seat for the whole movie like those two movies did. But this one is still super, super good, super suspenseful and has, again, some amazing camera work and just cinematography and very, very complex character. But yeah, getting into the score of this movie now, the score of this movie was very interesting because I didn't notice it too much in the, in the first half of the movie, but then I really started to notice it in the second half. And I think that's just because the score in the second half was really ramping up with the movie. I feel like there wasn't that much score in the first half of the movie. But then when things started to ramp up, when, when events started to happen, when Devlin started to get in on everything and Alicia started to get poisoned, the score really started to ramp up with the actions in the movie. You started to get these really big crescendos of score and stuff like that. And it was just really, really kind of beautiful stuff, but really suspenseful it added to the suspense. It didn't overpower the suspense. It didn't take me out of the movie. Like some scores maybe overpower the scene. And Hitchcock's really good with that like the score is very subtle but it adds a lot and then the score only gets grand in very certain occasions very special occasions and it was the same in this movie I thought the score was really good but the best thing about this movie I think was the camera work and the lighting and I didn't notice the lighting as much as I did in other movies where maybe like Rebecca or Psycho or something like that have these really intricate lighting schemes and maybe this movie had that and I just didn't notice it that much for some reason but there were definitely some moments with the lighting in this that I just I was in awe and my I think one of my favorite lighting moments was when she's just in the bed and Devlin walks in on her and she's poisoned she's in the bed and the room is completely dark except for this pane of light that is just on her kind of like she's almost sleeping beauty it's like illuminating her illuminating her bed illuminating the end of his path the end of his goal trying to find her and stuff like that and yeah and it just made her look kind of like an angel like almost like a fallen angel I guess in the bed and because he loves her he hadn't really admitted to himself that he loved her until that point in the movie it kind of makes sense that even though she's like poisoned she's not feeling well she's pretty close to death at this point like she's still kind of beautiful in his eyes and also it's just kind of like there she is so the lighting was kind of symbolizing two different things or portraying two different things with just that one lighting shot and I thought it was incredible also I, and this ha this isn't every Hitchcock movie this just isn't in this in this movie alone but I love and I know a lot of old movies as well I love the use of the soft light on the the main female actress's face you know the uh, like Alicia's face Ingrid Bergman's face was like super soft lit and it almost had this Vaseline look for all of her shots like Cary Grant shots were were kind of soft lit but they were a little bit more hard lit and stuff and there wasn't that Vaseline look but Ingrid Bergman's like look on screen was very Vaseline and it's very very soft and I don't know there was something like enchanting about the close-ups that she had whenever there was a close-up on her face you kind of fell into the frame because of how beautiful the lighting was and I just thought that that was really really excellent but yeah the camera work in this movie was off the charts amazing whenever there is the tea and stuff oh my gosh it was so good just telling the audience without telling the audience you know it's super obvious because of the way the camera work works but they're not explicitly saying oh it's in the tea oh it's in the coffee you know they're just showing it and then you're going oh Oh, it has to be in there you know like it's so it's so easy and it makes you feel smart because the camera work is so good and I loved I loved whenever there was they were pouring I think they said it was coffee whenever they were pouring it and I, I thought it was tea but it could could have been coffee whenever they were pouring the drink though they would always like zoom in on the drink and then keep the close-up on the drink the entire time it is in the scene and the entire time that Alicia is interacting with this drink as well because you know you don't want her to drink it and 
she doesn't know that but the audience knows that and that's what makes it suspenseful that's what makes the tension happen when the audience knows something that the characters don't and you don't want them to do something or you want them to get out of a situation or something but yeah one of my favorite shots in the movie was that like close up of the tea or the coffee when it's in the mug but it's out of focus in the foreground and then you have Ingrid Bergman's Alicia talking here and you have the doctor guy talking here trying to help her and the thing that's causing it is just right there in front of them both and they're both oblivious to it and it's so cool I don't know it was just such an interesting shot and such a really really it was just a shot that t that told a story it was a shot that told a story without saying anything it was just that one shot and you knew exactly what was happening in that moment you knew exactly who was oblivious like what was the what was the cause and stuff in just one single frame and it was it was amazing also those like that really cool effect that they did when she was poisoned and she's walking and everything's like wibbly wobbly warping and stuff like that that was a really cool effect i haven't seen that in a hitchcock movie and 1946 is very very i guess old it is very very old for visual effects and stuff like that and so i'm very curious about how they got those wibbly those wibbly wobbly warp effects because now you could i could do that in about five seconds on my computer just add like a warp effect and after effects or something but back then how to how how would they have done that with just not just film but like maybe with without computers and stuff like that how would they have done this warp effect it's something that i'm very interested in and i thought it was really cool also some other notable camera work moments were just like when they would zoom in from the from the wide shot and then they zoom in into the key it was just like there's some really creative ways of telling a story telling a scene showing a scene without cutting the camera or just doing within doing it in ways that hasn't really been done in other films before like that one shot where it's this big big wide shot of the whole kind of foyer of the house and then it zooms in into the keys that Alicia is holding you get a sense of the scene you get that wide you get to see what is happening you get to see kind of where everyone is what this the party is like and stuff like that you get all of this visual information and then it slowly zooms in and then it kind of makes this suspense and this mystery like why are we zooming in why are we zooming Zooming in, why are we zooming into Alicia's hand? And then you see the key, and then you realize that the key is the focus of the scene, and we were just given the context of the scene, and then we focused in on the actual story of the scene in this one beautiful shot. It was it was really good. Getting into the cast now, I'm just gonna talk about Ingrid Bergman, Cary Grant, and Claude Rains. I hope it's not raining where he lives anymore. Haha, <laughs> that was that was funny. Claude Rains as Alexander Sebastian. He was he was really good in this movie. He wasn't that intimidating to me until he was was intimidating but even then he wasn't the most intimidating person like I found his mother more intimidating than him I found him more kind of like a child I found him more scared for his own life that because he found out that Alicia was an American agent I found that he seemed scared for himself and yes he was angry yes he was like I stood over her bed and I could have killed her and stuff like that but I felt like it, it was kind of scary but at the same time it felt almost hollow like he couldn't do that it felt like the mom was the person who had to have done that in the first place like it did I didn't feel like he actually had the guts to follow through on his words of killing Alicia you know I felt like he needed help but I thought he was a very interesting character like he did love Alicia and he was kind of heartbroken when it happened but he was also like a Nazi so like no no sympathy for me to him but yeah I thought Claude Rains did a really good job Cary Grant as Devlin. I thought he was really, really good. He was such an interesting character because I didn't know how much he actually loved Alicia until the final moments of the movie. But the relationship that he had with Alicia was very, very complex. And I loved how he portrayed her on, or he portrayed her. I love how he portrayed the relationship and portrayed Devlin on screen. I thought Cary Grant did a really good job. And finally, Ingrid Bergman as Alicia. She was, she was awesome. She was the main character. She was the main focus. She, she, she committed herself to this role you know i loved when she was drunk when she was acting drunk i loved that she kind of had this almost drunken not drunken personality but she kind of was almost stumbling through everything but then at the same time she she did know what she was doing and i loved the kind of strain that was with the relationship she had with devlin how much she did love him but how much it felt like he was pushing her away and then whenever she would say something he would get really angry about it i don't know it was such an interesting dynamic and i loved the way that she portrayed her side of that dynamic and then when she was poisoned and stuff it was 
it was very it was very heart-wrenching and then of course she gets better she or maybe she doesn't even get better she just leaves i don't know she could have died in the car on the way to the hospital or something for all i know but i thought ingrid bershman did a really good job so yeah that is my reaction and review to notorious the 1946 alfred hitchcock movie thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot uh i have i have a list i have more hitchcock movies that i'm gonna watch obviously i think the next one i'm gonna watch is the man who knew too much i'm pretty excited for that one i'm watching the the second one that hitchcock made i think he made two one in whatever like the 30s and one in the 50s i'll be watching the 50s version i've heard that one's a lot better that's the one that hitchcock wanted you to watch and stuff so i'll be watching that one i'm excited for it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time for my next movie reaction